Hello everyone, so I'm currently back at the building, the big three story building if you can remember, where we're going to be doing from a one bed on the second floor to a two bed, from a one bed on the first floor to a two bed, the ground floor where I am now, you can see the front door there, one bed to a one bed, making it flow a little bit more, which will be knocking through the walls, bricking this section up up here, and also a basement conversion. So let me take you down, now hopefully there's enough light to show you exactly what we're doing. The biggest issue here, or the time consuming restraint, is digging down the basement floor. Let's have a look to show you what it entails when doing this. Just in the basement now. I can see it's all starting to be dug out. I dug more down here, they've done all this level to one, two, three, one, two, three. Probably depends if it was there or there. But for sure, that corner's all gone now. That's definitely one, two, three bricks, definitely. It's just sitting on the top of the fourth brick, that sort of second step out. You'll see, the first lip is there. The second lip is literally there. So that's the second lip out that they're probably gonna dig down to. Still quite a bit to go. Seems to be doing a great job. As you can see by the doorway here, that was the door level. That's one, two, there's a lip. You'll see the second lip. It's literally there. That's the first lip, second lip. So yeah, doing really well on here to be fair. Steps come out. Going around here. This way starting to again build up all the rubble, which I'm guessing they'll be hand balling out up the light well. So as I was saying, the basement it can't always be calculated on a square meter each. So as we already know. When you're doing a little flip or a house, depending on area and labour cost, it's about 350, maybe 300 pound square meter, depending on your spec, etc. That doesn't include a roof. As you know, a standard terrace up and over roof can range from four to seven thousand. So if you're doing a commercial conversion, we can quickly stack numbers on from 750 at the moment for ourselves up to about 856 at the moment. So things change per square meter. But basements got a good understanding of where you're at. It's a very hard, because you can go, yeah, it's going to be about 850. That's a quick number, but it may be way out. This basement here, you can imagine, let's say this one bed, that two bed and two bed, these are being converted for about 25 grand a floor. Yeah? The basement alone is meant to be from a QS costing. Don't forget, we'll get a QS in. And he's come in at 75 to 80 thousand pounds for a basement here in Stoke it's not really worth doing if you already own the basement and own the building maybe it's worth doing but if the flat's only going to be worth 80 or less is there any point in doing it or is a better option just going down the street and buying a house for 80 grand but then you've got to do the works so you've got to weigh that up would you want to spend the 80 grand and get 75% loans of value so you get a 60 Grand mortgage on the basement, which leaves 20 grand in, getting a good return. So that's an option. So what we do is we get the QS in, they give me the cost, we sit down with the builders, they'll go, okay, I can do that for a bit cheaper, that for a bit cheaper. As a prime example, one of the things that we standardly change all the time is they say tiling is about 55 pound a square meter. We know that we can do it for 50 or 45, it just varies on the customer spec. So straight away, Let's just say for argument's sake it was 55 and we can do for 45. That's saving 10 pound a square meter. Even if that was seven square meters because of one bathroom, it's saving 70 quid. And we work through, work through, work through. It doesn't need a site manager. Does it need this? Does it need that? The good thing with us, we already had the drainage spec and the costing in to give the QS. So that allowed him to put an itemized and a quantified cost, not a PC sum, where he's guesstimating what it roughly be. So, I hope that's helped. This basement is going to be done for £52,000. As I said, this may be worth 60, 70, 80, we'll see. It's in Newcastle underline, so it's more of an affluent area than Stafford and Stoke on Trent, more so. It's close to Keele University. It's one street away or two streets away from the city centre. We've got the hospital that way. We've got Keel that way. We've got the city centre that way. Prime location. We've done two two beds upstairs from two one beds. 
this is going to be a one bed and the basement is going to be a one bed as well so i hope that's helped very quick inside to the basement once i get a lot more light down there i'll turn my camera lights off and give you a good understanding a good look exactly where we're at i'll also try and get in to show you the makeup and the build up of the foundational slab I say the hardcore, the reinforced concrete, the insulation, etc, etc, etc. I'll also try my best to get in to get the drainage as well, to give you more of a learning exactly how you do your basement. So any questions, any comments, comment below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll speak to you soon.